<laughs> okay, drive-by shooting. Uh, that was done in the '90s, and you know there was a lot of stuff going on in New York, but mostly on, on the West Coast in Compton and LA, where you know with the gang wars and everything. Right. And, you know, I, I wanted to express how stupid. Really, it was how stupid it was for us to be killing ourselves like that, our young men killing ourselves like that. And, you know, I thought about a clowns on a unicycle, and so I gave this guy half human body, half unicycle right. type of thing, put a gun in his hand, and gave him a sort of a clown type of thing, because I, I just really wanted to make a statement about all the violence that was happening at that time. Still a lot of violence, but the big thing was people were driving by, shooting people. Right. All kinds of people were getting killed. Not not people who were intended to get killed, innocent bystanders. And there was a lot of movies going on at that time, uh, you know, Menace to Society, right. and, you know, Boys in the Hood and all of that stuff. And all of that was really in the air. So that was really a response to um, what was going on back then. Right. And, and and also, so talk about how art can be like a vehicle for expression. I know hip-hop and, and well, what I your mean, brothers have done. Form, uh-huh. Any dance, theater. Right. Whatever you do creative is, is, is something that's going to express your spirit, your thoughts, and your emotions. So, you know, I, I truly believe that that's inside of everybody. Not everybody's a painter, not everybody's an actor, not everybody's a dancer, not everybody's a singer. But everybody has some sort of way that they can express themselves creatively. Right. And I think that it's important that human beings find out what that voice is within themselves and, and, and take advantage of it. Because we have a lot of stuff that we can, want to say, but... We, can't necessarily verbalize all the time. Right. And so through that creative expression, writing, painting, singing, something, you're able to get your spirit out. Right. And, 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 and talk in a way that you can talk without your voice. And, and do you have any advice for any up-and-coming aspiring artists? I know a lot of people want to make money. They have to get to a level. It's, before. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not the first thing that you go for. With, right. With being in the creative world. I mean, everybody got to make a living in this, that, and the other. Man. You know, if making a living is the most important thing, you didn't get a damn job. <laughs> um, but make sure right. that you do your creative stuff also. I mean, you know, it's hard to make a living as a creative person. Right. I mean, but, you know, some industries are easier. Uh, you know, music's a little easier than painters and this and that and the other. Uh, some industries are more open uh, to people of color. Um, but, you know, it's important that you immerse yourself in whatever you're trying to do. Whatever industry within the creative field you try to do, get to know the other people in it. Go right. to places where they have. If you're a singer, go hang out with singers wherever they hang out. Artists go to art galleries. Talk about what you're doing. Show people what you're doing. Let people listen to. The only way you're gonna ever get your stuff out there is being in the mix. Right. So you know you got to be out there and be in the mix. You got to do your part of the job other than just being creative because it is a job. You know you have to get out there and let yourself be known and let yourself be heard. Right. And for the 2012 Art for Life, um, is there any um, a wish list of what you wanted to do? I'm oh, sorry. I'll be right out. Yeah. yeah okay. is, do you have a wish list for, you know, some things you want to accomplish or some people you want to honor or some... Not yet. Not, not, yet. Yet. <laughs> not yet. We got a couple of the honorees already. Can you give us exclusive? Okay. I ain't giving you nothing yet, man. Come back.